Hi, I'm Alexandria and it is tarot time, so thanks for dropping by my channel. But before we really begin, I have a very important question for you and I'd appreciate it if you really, you know, give this some sincere thought. And uh, do you pronounce it Arcana or Arcana? So you can vote below and let me know and I'm probably just going to use either and or uh, like tomato, tomato. But uh, anyway, so I'm used to calling it Arcana. So if you're used to calling it Arcana, uh, just let me know. And uh, you know, the debate will continue. So we are studying the, um, the Rider, Rider Waite Smith deck right here. And we have been just getting very familiar with one card at a time. So if you're just finding me now, just go ahead and look back on my channel and there will be a whole series of daily videos exploring each individual major arcana or arcana. Um, so um, just taking in some of the details about today's card, I came up a little bit earlier and I channeled the card because they have so much, they've been imbued with so much from the, the art that goes into it, from the artist um, uh, Smith, sorry, forget the first name. And, uh, and just the, the meanings over the years, it's so full of meaning that it's really actually relatively easy to connect with the energy of the card. So something you might want to do also. Um, so I will just share with you the meaning that I got. And as always, if it fits, use it. And if it doesn't, just let it go. doesn't matter. So for today, the emperor, and he also, he's all about father energy. Uh, it says, I am authority. You must not question my rules and decrees. I am fierce and I am powerful and I rule my kingdom with an iron fist. Simply obey. Father knows best. I am tough but fair. You would do well to emulate me. And uh, he said, goes on to say that uh, he's about structure or an organization and following the rule book to get good results. So for me, this was very much like uh, father energy for me. My father was a captain in the Air Force and very much about ruling his home and his office, you know, fairly, but also, you know, he was uh, big on discipline and uh, big on rules and, and all of that. So if you look at this card, he's sitting there on his throne and he's an Aries sign. So we're diving into also the numerology and the astrological aspects and the implications that they have. So you can see, so if you're an Aries, you're associated with this guy. And in, in the journey, he's like the father figure to the fool, which we are going to be diving into the fool's journey also, as soon as we finish looking at each of these cards individually. So anything else that comes to mind? So I see also like a lot of, a lot of yellow, which is solar chakra. Uh, which is your power chakra. There's a lot of orange, which is also your creativity. Uh, it's about finances also. So lots of different meanings of ways of looking at this card. So some of the key words uh, from this and other uh, sources, there are tarot Bible. It says, uh, have a high standard, be a living example, taking control of a situation, sticking to the rules and uh, and leadership. So on the negative side of that, because there's always the two sides to the stick, right? There, there's the polarity. So on the negative side, that could be uh, someone is power tripping um, or they could be just flat out stubborn. You know, maybe their authority has gone to their head. If this shows up in a love spread, it says you'll be attracted to a strong dominating person. So that's about all for this source. And let me just check in with the Bible here. Tarot Bible. And it says, so again, in the negative, uh, it could be insensitivity to others, feelings and passions, um, being very aggressive and assertive and dogmatic, uh, establishing laws and family values structured thought, sticking to the rules. So some of the things I already mentioned. So this card represents the masculine principle, the archetype of authority, fatherhood, and leadership. 
When your inner emperor is activated, you are ambitious and you can manage your affairs efficiently. When you draw this card in a you now position, you have authority and know what you want, but maybe you're too forceful and stubborn, always wanting everything your own way. In a question concerning partnership, it signifies that you have the will and the need to take control of, of a relationship, but it's time to keep personal feelings out of the firing line and base your decisions on pure fact. As a blockage card, the emperor reveals that someone in authority is preventing you from moving on or that a lover or father figure won't listen to what you have to say. So if you were asking a love-related question and this appears as a future card, the emperor means that you will be attracted to a strong dominating person or a successful career go-getter. Power trippers and cold-hearted lovers are also signified. They may be reliable in bed or around the office, but you'll never know their true motives. If you're trying to find out a vocational issue, this card suggests that through self-discipline and determination, you will achieve your ambitions or goals. The emperor reminds you that structure, organization, and the rule book will get you the best results, which is the line that I already had. So that's all about the emperor. And um, yeah, uh, feel free to contribute your thoughts on this. Uh, what makes the emperor especially meaningful for you. And otherwise, I will wish you a happy day and we will talk to you again tomorrow. So thanks for watching. No Callie today. I called her. She did. She was like, no, not today. I don't work on Fridays. Oh, well, maybe she'll drop by tomorrow. Big love, everybody. Bye for now.